Nice. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Swift, what's up? Slacker Dan, what's going on? I appreciate the love, brother. Um, Blaine Hoover. So thank you for asking. I actually did a stream a few months ago where I, um, I read creepy stories from Ask Reddit, and this is kind of a continuation of it. So we're going to be going through RBI's subreddit and uh, reading through various stories that I've picked out that are pretty creepy that I think are creepy. So yeah, hope you like it. Um, 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 what's up guys? What's going on? Angel, Kylie Jenner, what's up? Jay Robert, Charlie, good boy Leroy. Oh shoot, we're filling in. So you guys liked the uh, other one a lot, it seemed. So, so I wanted to continue it. I know I've been like kind of teasing that I was going to do this for a while now. So I'm trying to trying to finally get it done. And uh, holy shit! Hi everyone that's getting into the chat right now. <laughs> okay, so I gotta ask: audio levels good? Is my voice too loud? Music too loud? Oh my god! I can't read. I can't read this. I need to slow it down. Let's see. It's good? Okay. So the last stream was like super shitty quality. I didn't realize I had my computer set to 720p on OBS. Hopefully it's a lot better now. I set it to 1080p and tweaked with the settings and everything. So we should be good. All right. So it looks like we're filling in here. So I might go ahead and get started. So the first story that I have picked out is this one. It's called, How and Why Is This Girl at My School Uploading Thousands of Pictures of My Classmates to Google Reviews? This one really stuck out to me because uh, it, I, I, okay, first off, I couldn't find any context on it, and I did a lot of digging um, about the story afterwards because it, like, I wanted to make a full video on it, but there's no actual proof or anything. Apparently, this girl uh, knows someone at her school that um, was taking pictures of every person in the school and making Google reviews about them. Um, that's basically that in a nutshell, but what I'm going to do is go through it, uh, the whole story, and read it to you guys and get some thoughts. Let's see. Someone just asked, what's RBI? RBI is the Reddit Bureau of Investigation. It's basically an investigative subreddit um, where people go on there and solve internet mysteries. Kind of like what we do on the channel, just in a subreddit. All right, um, let's see. Hold on, I'm checking the text. Is the text size good? I'm sorry I'm asking so many questions. I'm just, I always mess up something on a stream and after the fact I catch it. So if you guys can't read this, just let me know and I'll zoom in. Okay, all right guys. So look, okay, I see zoom in and I see everything's fine. Okay, I'll, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. It couldn't hurt. There we go, should be a little better. By the way, everyone who's throwing in super chats, thank you so, so much. Um, for, for the sake of like continuity with the stories, I'm gonna try to read those at the very end rather than um, cutting through in the middle of the story. But before we begin, Breathless, thank you for the $10. I got here right in time for the first story. Yes, you did. Um, let's see. Now I'm going against what I just said, but I want to tell the people that did so already. Thank you. Soaps donated $1.99, said pee pee poo poo. Nice. That's, that's hilarious, my man. <laughs> okay, all right, enough uh, sarcasm. Okay, so text size is good. Let's get to the story. Enough of me rambling. I'm sorry. I'm going to shut up now. Hope you guys enjoy this story. So, how and why is this girl at my school uploading thousands of pictures of my classmates to Google reviews? This is by a user named PM for nice chats, and it was one month ago. Hi, so I'm currently a junior in high school, and I have a bit, I have a bit of a bit of a hard to explain thing. Okay, so I went to check out my high school's Google reviews. I was having a fun time laughing at the funny reviews people posted, but I came across someone I recognized. I'll just call her Kelly. 
Kelly is a severely mentally disabled autism down syndrome I don't know but she but she curiously left a review for my school it has 89 images in it okay weird yeah but maybe she just decided to dump a bunch of images in because why not but her Google reviews account has a staggering 5,400 plus images it took me 10 minutes of scrolling to reach the bottom of the list not only that but every single picture has a location attached to it every single one the oldest and last in the list is dated at 2002. For fuck's sake. The contents of the images are even weirder. It'll be random pics of people taken at our school. Presumably, presumably Kelly approached them and took the photo. There's also well over a thousand images stolen straight from Instagram. There were times where I would scroll, see a couple dozen pictures of a person I knew, and then as I keep scrolling, they would get progressively younger until we were down to the freak... Yeah, sorry. As I keep scrolling, they would get progressively younger until we were down to the freaking baby pictures. How would she even have access to these? At first, I thought maybe it was some kind of shared account with parents posting their baby pics too, mixed in with Kelly obsessively posting every picture across her Instagram feed. But I don't think this theory holds up. Some of these photos are personal. I mean, it looks like they were downloaded right off of someone's phone. One of them is of our local one of them is one of them is one of our local full-time drug addicts and his friends all chilling outside somewhere. It's not high quality Instagram level or anything. It looks like a dude just took a pic of him and his friends and then somehow managed to get a hold of it. And I've checked, some of these photos aren't uploaded anywhere online that I could find. My current theory is that she somehow asked people for these photos. Does anyone have any idea what the fuck I'm looking at? Too long, didn't read. Mentally disabled girl at my school has uploaded thousands of photos of people and I don't know how she did it. Oh my god. Sorry, that, that it's hard. So, a lot of people mentioned this in the last stream and in this stream, I want to kind of address it really quick. It's really hard to read to over a thousand people um, something that you don't, that you didn't write. <laughs> because people like write uh, with different like semantics and like phrasing and stuff and it's just, it, it's unnatural to me for some reason. So I, I apologize. Sometimes I'll, I'll like read over words a few times and it kind of trips me up. And if you can bear with me, I'll shut up about apologizing about it because I know I did like a thousand times last time, but I just wanted to clear the air on that real quick. It's just, it's kind of nerve wracking. I'm sorry. Anyway, okay. So we have two edits or three edits here. Um, edit one, holy crap, this got bigger than I thought. I was busy rushing a project that I had procrastinated on. Edit number two, let me, answer th let me answer some things that have been asked quite a bit. Number one, I'm planning on showing what I have found to her caretaker and informing her that Kelly has been taking photos of people without her consent. Number two, my school does not have Google accounts, at least not for students as far as I'm aware. Number three, she does have her own Instagram. Two in fact, one following 600 and the other following 2000. Number four, I'm unaware if she has Facebook or Snapchat. None of the images that I saw Excuse me. None of the images that I saw, which I looked at while quickly scrolling, had UI on them. They looked like they were straight from a camera app. Also, I'm getting some sleep now. I'll respond in the morning if I can. One final edit she posts. I'm back from school. I have good news and bad. The good news is that I contacted the administration and they're going to report the images and have them taken down, hopefully. I explained, I explained how to find Kelly's account and the person, t and the person I talked with couldn't explain it either. They're pretty much, they're pretty tech illiterate, so I'm not surprised. So pretty tech illiterate, so I'm not surprising. Wow, I just totally butchered that. The bad news is that for all of you curious people out there, it's unlikely this mystery will fully be solved. Kelly apparently no longer goes to my school. While they are going to contact Kelly's parents, I see no reason, I see no reason they would tell me what they found. This will likely be the last update unless something significant happens. Thanks for the help, guys. I honestly don't know if I could have done anything. Had I not had the great help from you wonderful people. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. So that was the Google mystery. Um, apparently this girl was posting pictures from like the camera app and stuff onto Google reviews. And I couldn't find anything about it. Um, I went to... 
I think I went and dug through this and I couldn't find any information. Yeah, it's it's just a bunch of random stuff. They're pretty active on this account, so it's kind of hard to dig it up. Um, let's see. So what do you guys think? Any any input on this? Let's see, we have a lot of people that were Hold on, I'm reading comments real quick. Story. Not a pre recorded video. Yeah, this is not pre recorded. I, I swear. <laughs> uh, let's see. I see Yeehaw from Trap Ninjas. Soviet Union just got on. Kirk Wright, Large Nutsack. TV Machine. I want to see the account. Um, if you guys, if you guys want to go check out the account, it is PM for Nice Chat, um, and, and you can go dig through our post history, maybe find the actual place. But that's up to you if you want to do that. But yeah, I wasn't able to find anything. I was trying to dig on Google and everything to find the freaking school because this is honestly one of the creepier things that I've found, um, or not really creepy, but just odd. Like it'd be interesting to kind of dig through like what actually happened and and like the the rabbit hole of Google reviews that this person's posting. I just I find interest in that kind of stuff. And let's see. the real Nexpo is dead. Yes, you're right. I'm his uh I'm his ghost. Let's see. All right. Well, that was that story. Um, so I have four more, or no, actually three more up here that we can touch on. This one was interesting. It wasn't um, creepy, like in the sense, like it's like holy shit, this is totally terrifying. But it's more like weird. Um, title this this post is titled "Mystery pa the Mystery Package Addressed to Me Containing Creepy Stuff I Definitely Did Not Order" by Jesse Fresh eight months ago this one's not that long it's kind of short but it has pictures and stuff with it so we're going to go through the pictures and uh, just the different like eBay postings and stuff that they uh, they've found regarding this package that they were delivered and then we can dive into some comments so from the top here let's get into this story by Jesse so here we go So on Monday, July 30th, I received a small USPS cardboard box in the mail. It didn't look any different than a small box you would receive from Amazon. I didn't even look at the sender because I was expecting Blah. I didn't even look at the sender because I was expecting business cards which would have come in sim which would have come in similarly sized cardboard boxes. It was addressed directly to me, including my correct name and address. When I opened it up, I saw a tattered wooden box with plastic ties holding it shut and what looked like a hard plastic tag with the t with a book title lawless and the author noir roberts on it all right so before we proceed let's take a look at the box all right so that's what she found So we see uh, yeah, it's Lawless, Lawless, book title, Nora Roberts. For some reason, it's sealed like this. But we're going to get to why in a second. So let's go back. Guys, I am drinking water. I'm just dehydrated today. I'm sorry. Yes, guys, I'm stuttering. I, I mentioned this earlier. Um, I do that because I'm reading something that I didn't write, and it's just kind of, it's different. They use different phrasing and and all of that. Dang, so many chats coming in. Okay, continuing. All right, so on the back side of the tag, there's a little thumb drive, presumably so you can plug the book into your computer. Also, on the back was some contact information for the Texas State Library and a barcode number. So, picture number two. 
This is the USB, property of US government, Texas State Library and Archives Commission in Austin, Texas. And I actually live like three hours from there. Fun fact, yeehaw. All right, so that's the tag. Naturally, I called the Texas State Library and Archives Commission and spoke to a really nice lady who informed me that this came from the Talking Books for Texans program, a library program aimed at the blind and physically handicapped, but was as confused as I was as why I ended up with it. I also gave her the sender's address on the original cardboard box, which read, printed in Canada, but had an address from Columbia, Tennessee. When I looked up this address, it looks like a sorting facility of some sort, which houses, which houses a few different freight type businesses. The lady from the library I spoke to advised me to go ahead and open the little wooden box that came with the flash drive. No idea why I listened, but I did. When I opened the wooden box, I found a strange looking black watch with a skull in the middle of it. All right, so this is the watch with the skull. So she opened the box, this was inside. Uh, Kind of a cool looking watch, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, can you guys? Yo, OBS, WTF. What the hell? Sorry guys. Uh, yeah, the music you're listening to is by Coag. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. It wouldn't be an expo stream if there wasn't, um, you know, some something going wrong, am I right? Okay, let's see, application flight control is using There we go. All right, in typical Nexpo stream fashion, it's fixed for now. So we'll see how long it takes till it messes up again. Okay, back to the story. So this is the skull watch that looks like it's been worn quite a bit. It does look cool though. It has a skull right here in the middle, and you know you can tell you can tell it's been worn. It's got something stained on it. Let's see. All right, that's the watch. It looked like the back of the watch had some sort of residue on it, like ketchup or something. Real quick, back of the watch. Some red, weird residue right here. Waiting on OBS to update. I, I know you guys are behind a few seconds. Okay, so this is it. Um, so back to the story once again. Come to find out, this watch, a Corum Bubble Night Flyer, apparently retails for somewhere between one to four thousand dollars. My friend found that not, my friend found that number nine hundred forty-four of nine hundred ninety-nine had been sold on eBay not too long ago for twelve hundred eighty dollars. Okay. It seemed bidding ended on on the watch on July twenty-fourth. When I looked closer at the watch, at the watch I received, it appeared to be the exact same one, number 944 of 999. And there it is with proof, 944 of 999. So it seems that they accidentally got mailed that watch. I contacted the eBay seller on August 1st to make sure he hadn't sent it to me by accident, but I still have not heard back. I also checked all my credit cards and my eBay account to make sure my account information and credit cards had been fraudulently, fraudulently used. I had no suspicious charges or activity. Also worth noting, the sender seemed to be based in Arizona, where Lawless is apparently based as well. When I looked at my USPS tracking number and said nothing about the origination in Arizona, I actually called USPS and they said that, either, that it either originated in Canada or Detroit. Then somehow I went to Tennessee. Not really sure what that meant, but it seems like whoever bought this may have may have then sent it to me, which is what freaks me out. Also interesting, USPS told me the sender paid $100 to insure the box. When I searched who was associated with the Tennessee address, I came up with I came bleh, I came up with the Oak Group Automotive Corporation. I also found a Canadian number belonging to this company, so not sure if that's why the label was printed in Canada. 
Also, I'm not sure if the true sender, not sure if this is the true sender or just a freight company. USPS said the watch is technically mine since the box was specifically addressed to me, but I'm still tempted to just send it back to the address it came from. Also, it could be completely unrelated, but I've been getting some really strange Facebook friend requests lately. This, this residue-ridden watch, along with Lawless, along with the fact that I did not order any of this and it was addressed directly to me, is scaring the living hell out of me. I don't have any enemies or know of any angry exes. I've been with my husband now for 10 years. What would you do if you were in my shoes? Is there an easy answer? Should I call the police? Any theories as to how or why I ended up with this stuff? And it ends there. Holy crap, okay. So, uh, mystery box addressed to this person. Um, it's a, it's got a weird watch with a skull in it, some residue on the back. They found the eBay listing, it's 944 of 999. Verified it on the back of the watch. Getting angry, or creepy Facebook friend requests lately. Not sure what the hell's going on. So what's up? Like, what's going on here? Thoughts, comments, concerns? By the way, I appreciate all the super chats and kind words you guys are throwing my way. Um, for guys that just joined, or people that just joined, for people that just joined, uh, I want to say real quick, I'm going to get to those super chats after the stories so we don't like interject in the middle of them. But thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I'm going to read all you guys' comments at the end. By the way, is the uh, background music still quiet enough or is it too loud? I'm about to kind of explain what the deal is with this uh, mystery box here because someone in the comments did. Holy shit, okay, uh, see, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. All right, okay. All right, guys, so basically, the answer to why um, this person got mailed this box is still unclear. Um, she, they still don't know, but the uh, USB thing here, let's see, where is it? Backside, yeah, this, this is actually for uh, audiobooks. It turns out, yeah, that, that's why it's addressed to the Texas State Library and Archives Commission. Apparently, it's something to do with audiobooks. There was a comment down here that yeah talking book machine you insert it like that and apparently it plays a whole book for you so the explanation for that was pretty simple sorry i'm just looking at the comments if if i ever pause like that i'm like looking at comments to kind of see what you guys thought like your thoughts are okay uh, but yeah, the watch doesn't make any sense. Hold on. Actually, let's go through some comments together and see if there are any any other uh, explanations here. A couple of tidbits. The USB drive is the book Lawless. It is ta is yeah. It's a talking book that goes in the machine like this, and it's the same picture. Okay. The phone number you listed is for a packaging logistics company called Onsort Material Management. Interesting. Okay. Initially, I thought this might have been related to mysterious package company or similar, in which the eBay listing, the person on the phone, and the flash drive box would be fake as part of a mystery, and the items, the watch, the talking book, the box, actually mass produced with a paid performer in the role of a librarian. Hold on a second. What the hell is mystery pa mysterious package company? I've never heard of this. Hold on. I'm kind of in intrigued. Mysterious package. Oh, is this one of the is this one of those things? Is this like one of those things where like you buy like a glitter package and send it to someone and then like it it opens and like explodes? Is this like one of those prank things, mysterious package? I've never heard of this. This is pretty cool. If it's legit. Okay. Anyway, all right, back to some comments. Um, let's see. All right. Am 
mais é. Mas é. The address in Tennessee is for a FedEx facility. So since you got this in the USPS, it looks like they use something like FedEx Smart or Smart no, FedEx Smart Post. That's where you send something by FedEx for part of the trip, and then they use the USPS for the last leg of the journey. Try putting your tracking number. Okay, they're just giving tips. All right. Anyway, guys, that's that's basically that story. I know it's not the creepiest, but I thought it was interesting. Kind of stuck out to me a little bit. All right, so we got the Google reviews one done, that one done. Now I'll admit I was going through and finding stories for this stream, and these last two I actually didn't get to read, so we're we're both going to be going in blind. Um, so I don't know if it's like super creepy or not, but the titles definitely hooked my eye, especially this one. How can I find out who is leaving creepy, threatening notes at my child's grave? But We'll get to that one after the Airbnb. Okay, so this post is called, I think my landlady from Airbnb is spying on me. And it's by Gretch702. Comments again, sorry. Um, please cover Reddit Glitch in the Matrix. I might look at Glitch in the Matrix, Tofu. That's a good idea. I want to do like different uh, subreddits, like the dark side streams of whatever creepy subreddit it is that we want to look into at the time. Seems like an interesting concept for me. Okay. All right, so I think my landlady from Airbnb is spying on me by Gretch702. I'll get right into it. The information I have is circumstantial. I have no solid evidence. However, unless my landlady is Santa Claus and she has no way of knowing the exact moment I sleep or wake up to go to work, etc. She knew that she knew that my mom stood at my place for a night. Stood or stayed. She knew that my mom stayed at my place for a night and knows where my children sleep. And yesterday I came home from work late and she called me on the home phone as soon as I got through the door. No big deal, I thought. So I called her over and paid the rent. And that's when she started talking. In a few instances, she slipped up and mentioned a few private things that she could not have known unless she was watching me. Sorry, there are a ton. This person writes with commas, like run-on sentences, and it's really tripping me up. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. Comment, com or comma, 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 comma. Okay. All right. Unless she was watching me, we're going to pick back up right here as if it's a period. Okay. She quickly changed the subject, and I figured I will let her do so until I investigate the interior of the house. Period. I am staying at an extended stay Airbnb in Phoenix, Arizona. I've asked a couple of questions on some different subreddits. My question to the sub Reddit Bureau of Investigation is, what's the best, what's the best bleh, cell phone camera to spot hidden cameras and any other tips will help? I don't have tons of money to buy extra equipment. I have a few cell phones, and I'm sure I could borrow an expensive cell phone from one of my friends. To locate the hidden cameras. I was wondering if there are any other tips. Okay. And then she jumps into some information. Uh, single family, four bedroom, three stories in the home. There's a mobile trailer in the backyard where the landlord and landlady always store stuff. I don't know, but they spend tons of time here on the property. Please help. Um, and then there are two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven updates here. Let's see, uh, they locked the thread. Law enforcement got involved. Okay, so let's go through the uh, updates real fast, and then we'll dive into some comments. So update one. Okay, it's a little past 9 p.m. and totally dark, using an iPhone 6 and an Android LG Aristo 2. I have not been able to pick up any. Blah. I have not been able to pick up on any lights. I have tried using live camera and also recorded video at dusk, 6 p.m. ish. I'm going to try again in a few minutes and post another update. Update number two. There are ceiling fans in every room and the living room, and none of them work, which is raising my suspicions. Excuse me. However, the cell phone trick is not working for me. I'm going to check the ceiling fans and update later. It's getting a little late, so I might do it first thing in the morning. Update 3. Every ceiling fan is broken or not working. All the bulbs unscrew except for one that looks different from the others. I tried to unscrew it, but that doesn't work. I took a couple of pictures and I will post a link in the comments. Oh, we got a link to some pictures, guys! 
All right, so we get to hunt down some photos of uh, what's going on here. Hell yeah, you know, guy, I love a good story with some visual evidence. It's always uh, the best. Okay, update three. Enough of me rambling. Update three. Uh, oh wait, I already read that one. God damn it, what's wrong with me? Update four. Okay, this is going to be my last update of the night. I think it's worth mentioning that I do not have a key. It's a keypad lock on the door and the landlady mansion and the landlady mansion that she could change the code anytime via her app. That sentence did not make any sense, I'm sorry. I don't know if that information is useful or not, but I thought it might be worth mentioning. I can post a link to the picture of the door handle, the door handle lock if you guys need it. Yes, more pictures, please. Update five, so a yank. All right, I'm sorry, hold on one second. I got H3H3 H3 Productions playing in the background on my TV and he's doing, he's doing one of his videos where Ethan screams at the top of his lungs, so hang on, it's distracting me. I'm gonna mute it real quick. God damn it, Ethan. Ethan can have videos where they're, or Ethan and Hila, or Hila. God damn it, I still can't pronounce it right. Ethan and Hila can have videos where they can be like totally quiet, and then Ethan will start screaming, and it's like, what the fuck? Anyway, okay, so back to the updates here. So update six, we have confirmed that all the videos, no, update five. So I yanked out the suspicious bulbs, I have a video documenting it, and I am staying at my brother's house for safety reasons. I have the bulbs in hand and will make a video inspection of them and try to post it anonymously as the subreddit will not allow me to use my real name or any social media connected to me. I tried Imgur but it's connected to my Facebook and has my real name and I really want to keep you guys updated so I'm trying not to get banned. Uh, comments real quick. Okay. I took tons of pictures before I left the property including pictures of that creepy T-Mobile T-Mobile <laughs> that creepy mobile trailer in the backyard. I have a couple videos of the house interior lights on and off. Please let me know a good way of posting them anonymously or I will try to do it later today as I didn't get much sleep last night. Update six, finally. We have confirmed that the lights, that the light bulbs are all audio devices. I have notified the authorities and told them the story. 10.30 a.m. I took pictures of the listening devices. However, they are no longer in my possession as the authorities took, the, took them for evidence, I think. I'm going to try to post pictures today, and the listening devices kind of look like Raspberry Pis. Tiny Raspberry Pi. Like the computer Raspberry Pi? I'm working on uploading all the videos and pictures now. Final update. First, I would like to thank everyone here at the Reddit Bureau of Investigation, RBI, and thank you for all the help, tips, and advice. I will be marking this as resolved for now. I will not be updating any more photos, as I am advice, as I am advised by council. However, I might take I might make it off topic after everything is over and just to stop by again and say hello. Thank you all. End story. Okay, so that's the end of it. Uh, I am actually really intrigued, guys, for for this uh, for these videos and stuff. It I kind of want to find it real quick. Everyone coming in with super chats. Once again, thank you so 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 much. I really appreciate it. Um, let's see. I seriously appreciate it. Blah. I seriously appreciate it, guys. I'm gonna get to those in a little bit after I finish the stories. Um, so just bear with me. I do see them, and I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's go into Gretch 702's profile and see if we can find any uh, comments or anything with any videos or images. It's really interesting to me. When was this posted? Five months ago. So let's go back around five months ago. See if we can find anything. It's funny because my next video is literally about kind of what we're doing now, um, going into OP's post history and kind of digging up some evidence and, and kind of speculating on what might have actually happened. Um, I'm pretty intrigued at the at the next like topic I'm going to cover on the channel in like a main video. I hope you guys like it. It's it's a lot of reading, kind of like this, but it's I feel like it's necessary for. Um, sorry, I just read a comment. Next book, could you loan me some money? Yeah, sure, come on. Uh, well, anyway, as I was saying, it's really intriguing, like, reading into people's post histories and, like, trying to solve mysteries 
like using only what people have posted online in the past. It's just Reddit, Reddit is unique in that aspect where you can find someone's profile and they're unable to make it private like at all. That's not even an option. So everything you post on Reddit is public and able to be found at any time. So I thought that was a fun fact. Okay. So if we can go back to five months ago. Come on. Don't tell, wait. Okay, so we're back here five months ago where they are trying to find advice on where to post their post that we just read. But I don't see any comments with links or anything. Are we even in? We're on overview. Comments, maybe? Um, let's go. Let's try to see if we can find something in there. Come on, load. Dude, what is up with my Picture in your mind That's something like you've seen out. recently that disturbed you. Okay. It can be a stain on your favorite shirt oh, or see, a we're scratch back on your new again. car. Just close your eyes Comments. and try to picture an unpleasant image. I don't find these pictures. If I can't find it, go and dodge here. I'm gonna cut our losses and we're gonna get to the uh, Super Grave site and it's in this direction. By the way, is the music still good? Is it, uh, is it too too loud, too too quiet? I might do a Q&A in a little bit. Uh, might do a Q&A. Guys, if y'all are down, I mean, it's Saturday night. I don't got nothing going on. If you guys are down, we can explore some creepy websites. If you have any like creepy URLs or anything you want me to check out, um, definitely send it my way. I can, we can check it out tonight if you want. I'm game. I don't know if you're game, but I'm game. Cause we only got one more story, so. Was it one of the, uh, let's see, hold on. So some of these songs, I got, I got Coag playing in the background. There might have been a part where like they were talking or something. Shit, I wish I knew the track because I would take it off. Damn it. Ah, uh, crap. Let's see. All right, is that better? Is it playing the crap? Sorry, I'm trying to fix the uh, the music right now. I saw a bunch of comments saying something happened. A creepy ad. I'm. I'm so. I'm trying. I have no idea what that was. Okay, so music's back to. I am assuming normal. Unless an ad played. Did an ad play? God damn it. I don't have any ad windows open. Okay. Anyway. All right. On to the last story. Okay. 
I'm gonna have to go back and like watch watch that stream. Hang on a second. Uh, this is gonna bug the shit out of me. I need to figure out what this was. Hold on, bear with me for a second. I'm gonna go into my editor real quick and see what the hell you guys heard. So hang on. Okay, I'm back. Okay, uh, yeah, so, shit. Yeah, so that was definitely one of the Coag songs. So what he does is he, he has the, like, the, the smooth ambiance going, and then afterwards, or like in the middle of it, he will like cut to some like skit or something, like with, with people fighting or someone creepy voice like talking or something. It's, I always cut it out in my videos, but um, that's, that's what that was. It wasn't our hijacked stream or anything, so we're good. Uh, that was seriously bugging the hell out of me. Anyway, sorry to keep you waiting. Last story. How can I find out who's leaving creepy, threatening notes at my child's grave? This is by a user named Marble Bulldog, and it was posted two years ago. So this is a pretty, pretty old one. Um, by the way, guys, Petscop just posted. I got the notification. If you guys got it, definitely go check it out. After this stream, of course. I mean, don't check it out now. Hold on a second. I had an idea. Do you guys want to watch it together right now? I will mute the music. We can go to Petscop and watch it real quick. Okay. So let's go check it out. All right. We got a bunch of yeses. So... All right, guys, we're going to do a live watching of Pet Scop. Oh, boy, I'm excited. Sorry, I feel like a little kid in a candy shop. Uh, okay. Let's see. If I can. There we go. So it's 13 minutes long, so we're gonna go through it, um, watch it together, and I guess we'll we'll do some live thoughts about it. First off, before we get into this, let me know if the sound is good. I'm gonna play the first like 10 seconds. Oh my god. Oh, music, shit. Sorry. All right, music's off. Okay, so you guys could hear that, but I cannot. How did I fix that last time? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yo, what bye. the hell? Okay, we're good. 
I can hear it, you can hear it, we're good. Okay. Sound test, got some sound files, okay. Yo, Paul's gonna have to relax. Just turn, chill it out. Just, uh, just to turn it down from like a 10 to an 8. Can we get some buys in the chat? Oh my god, I wanna pull my, I wanna rip my hair out right now. Guys, what the hell? Why am I going through this torture? Why are you going through this torture right now? What the hell is this? Oh, gosh. I feel like I need to, like, dissect and go through all those, like, song titles. Okay. Um, enough, of, enough of me talking. Okay. Here we go. Resume torture. getting good recordings wait what what is that hold on what was that I wish I could brighten it on here but I can't Okay, let's continue. Okay, so we got a bunch of... So I haven't caught up on Petscop in a while. What's his... What's the guy with the triangle head's name again? I've... It's been over a year since I've, like, dug into it. is gas man this beat slaps dude 
Dude, can we get a uh, Pyrocynical in here, please? Because he, uh, I'm waiting on Petscop 2, and this, this will be perfect. Perfect time to put out a video. Harry Mark, November 12, 1992. Stomp making sense. Sorry, this is really fucking weird. Find a moment. Dude, Nall is uh, totally moonwalking right now. A girl went missing. Instead of missing girl signs, he put up birthday girl signs. Something the cake for a birthday. What's up with that little like arrow thing down there? They're like saying it's like that's north. Mask. Oh, okay. Well, are we assuming there's a tool nearby that he's asking, or?
happened. Start. Is that a thing? Oh, uh, I thought I was going crazy for a second. Yeah, there's something right there. What the hell is this? She was nine. Lena Leskowitz. Okay, let's so go back to the easel, man. Put the face in. I'm genuinely curious as to why he's walking backwards like that. Back where like the grave, the grave is. Yeah, the house with the grave. Okay. Uh, he is retracing his steps, Karen. That's what it seems like, because he's going, he's going backwards. All right, I'm reading comments now. Of course, he's watching Pets Cup. Yeah, of course I'm watching Pets Cup, because it just came out, man. It just dropped. You got to watch it. I'm a big fan. Okay. Yeah, I'm a big fan, but I haven't, I haven't like dove into Pets Cup in a while. It's, it's been like since my video, I, I watched a few on Halloween, and then now. So it's like all fragmented. I need to do some reading. But yeah, that was that was the new Petscop. Um, a lot of buys, a lot of weird audio files, some recordings, a voice talking to him, him asking a question, and then retracing his steps all the way back to the beginning. Um, I keep seeing you guys post about post content in the chat. Oh, don't worry. Trust me, I've had my eye on post content. Um, so, one thing that I did notice is that in his newest video, Shabam, my boy post content, there was this. And a new channel. Yeah. Hell yeah. So I'm excited, guys. I'm excited for him to uh, post more videos on this channel and all that so we can dive into it a little bit more. Um, the two videos that are definitely on my radar for sure for updates, as I know I don't do updates often, are Local58 when they post one more and post content because I do want to do post content because I know I barely, excuse me, I barely scratch the surface on that and I really want to get back into it and kind of um, just do a little bit more digging and a little more exploring now that we've broken the ground on it so if you guys are down I'm, I'm totally down 
I'm excited. I'm pumped. Hang on, I'm checking, checking something. Okay. All right, guys, back to the stories. Let's see. We're back to the stories. Sorry, I'm reading the chat and seeing what you guys are saying. Um, before we get back to the stories, though, yes, I do want to um, take a second. I'm just going to take a second real quick and do the uh, super chats real fast that I've gotten. Holy shit, it's a lot. Um, that This is tonight. Yeah, it's tonight. So Fishhook, Epoxy, Aspect, Jordan, Airy, McD, Cecilia, Lil Rainthal, The Verb Guy, Most Random, Slushy. Thank you guys so much for the donations, the super chats. I seriously appreciate it. Uh, McD, Kenzie, Obsidian, Wolf, Logan, um, Ben, Brittany, Justin, Moosey, Forever Lilt, Forever, no, Forever Lit, Apollo, Woo Play, Maddie, Julia, I am a crazy cat lady, Dark Star League, Sam, Gasoline, and Grant. I'm going to get to the rest after. I'm stopping at Grant. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. All right, so last story. How can I find out who's leaving creepy slash threatening notes at my child's grave? It's by a user named uh, Marble Bulldog, and it was two years ago. Okay. So to start, I'm writing this post both to vent, but also to see if anyone's got advice on how to handle the situation. I'm located in Scandinavia with rather strict laws concerning surveillance cameras. Otherwise, I would have gone down that path long ago. The situation. God damn it, Ryan. God damn it. Hang on. There's no music playing. There. Okay, now we're good. The situation. My wife and I lost our child to cancer one and a half years ago. Our child was then a toddler. This of course left this of course left us devastated and on our way back from the darkness wait, and on our way back from the darkness wasn't easy. But we gave our daughter a very beautiful grave, and visiting it daily helped us through the grief. But then we started getting notes, written on computer, not handwritten. Nasty notes about us, mainly me sometimes threats and also expressing hopes that my child my wife if now expecting also dies someone broke the wings of the angel and on the gravestone destroyed the flowers etc i have no idea who this is i have i have no i have no knowledge no enemies and neither does my wife how can i find out who it is without breaking the law do i set up a camera Sometimes I get a feeling that perhaps someone is closer to me than I realize. The reason, the reason is that when we first started, the notes always appeared in connection to us letting people know that we had been visiting the grave. If I went there on Monday, and for example told on Facebook that I had visited the grave and planted some beautiful flowers, then a note would be there the following day. It felt like a pattern, but it could have been coincidental. This is driving us insane. My wife, pregnant and sensitive as it is, can't visit the final resting place of our first child without fear and anger. I too get very upset, of course, but more infuriated. I want to know who all's doing this. All advice is very much appreciated. Maybe one of you can think something, think of something we've missed. All right, so that looks like it ended there, and then there was an update. Update: Someone asked us to do a list of suspects. We tried really hard to think of anything that could have been an issue. This is what we came up with. Did they mention an L? An L? 
and a B. So I don't remember reading anything about that unless I'm going crazy. I know it is 11.26 p.m. I might be going crazy. Okay, so I guess he explains. Okay. So number one, L. On my previous at my previous workplace, L was a coworker who claimed that I got promoted because I because I had a kid on the way and was pissed about that. But that was years ago. B. Before I met my wife, I dated B, and we had a good relationship. I saw no crazy in her, but she wanted a child-free life, and I love children. So we parted, and it was and it was a mutual decision. She also moved to another town, but since you guys asked me to list exes, I'll do that. E. My wife's ex. She dumped him for me, but she is now but he is now married, so she so he should have gotten over that. V. When we installed our new kitchen, we hired a Polish guy to do some of the work. Sadly, language barriers made it hard and we ended up having lots of problems. In the end, I had to let him go and find someone else to do the job. He was angry, but surely that was not a reason to stalk us now. C. C is not on my Facebook actually, but I'll list her because she's a weirdo. She lived next door to us before we moved and, and she had this very, very sick dog. So, so sick that it cried when it tried to walk and it was skin and bones and misery on four legs. Sometimes it fell down and couldn't get back up. My wife reported that and we never saw the dog again. C was a strange person, not mean or nasty to people, but odd. Nurse A, a nurse at the hospital that treated our daughter, also not on Facebook. We made a complaint about her after finding out that she didn't give our child the pain meds on the right times, but waited too long to administer them. We weren't rude, we didn't shout or anything. We we just wanted the fir yeah, we just wanted the best care for our kid. Also, when our child wished to go to a kennel and play with puppies, we did that. But Nurse A said we shouldn't because of our child's state. We went anyway, and she was pissed for the rest of that weekend. That's all we can think of. Damn, so we have quite a list of suspects here that could be potential, uh, the potential note writers, huh? So, so we're in it at Investigators. What, what do you guys think? Anyone, anyone of interest here? Update number two. This is a translation of the latest letter, 12th of July, and I've translated it with grammar and spelling mistakes, sentence structure, and all. You should be glad that A, instead of our child's name, died, so she won't grow up with, with you both and live with you. It's better. And I wish the new baby didn't, don't live too, I hope. Insert my wife's name here, falls on the stairs, and the ugly baby dies, and it would be better. Company, company for little. Insert lost daughter's name. Maybe she eats something with razor blades and cut her belly open. I don't think that the child under the dirt here was a good person. Either I think it, I think it was a bad person and she died because it was good that she died. I applauded it when the people, I applauded, I applaud it when the people let her bad die. And I have advice: nine millimeter and your pain stop. Easy, easy. I am not evil. I am normal, and I do this because I like it and I don't like you. And I smile when I think of you, when I think that you are hating this. How do you like my arrangements on the grave? I like it much better this way. Don't be so negative. Damn, so that note was, note was intense. Hang on, hang on. Sorry. Oh, crap. Let's see, what do we got going on, guys? What, what are y'all, you guys arguing? No. Guys, I don't want you to argue. <laughs> I'm just trying to have a good time and read creepy stories with y'all. Alright guys, uh, so anyway, uh, so that note was weird. Uh, there, there was a lot of, a lot of, I mean, misspellings and stuff. It was kind of hard to, you know, read it logically, but it, basically someone hates the parents and left this note then they they 
nine millimeter and your pain stops easy easy so it's clearly someone that's out to to get them or out to mess with them Okay, so update three. All right, I'm just gonna get to it and finish it. All right, so I haven't had much free time today, chaos at work, but I translated one of the letters previously found at the grave, 5th of May. I translated this one because it was the worst. All right, so here's the note. Do you think she's done and all rotten now? Does the naked bones shine pale in the dark? I think about it sometimes. I hope you think sometimes about it. At least she won't be grown up and like you both in the future. There is no future, only the end, and that is better. New baby will also be sick and die and rot next to its skeleton sister, and they will be dead together, and I will wait for it. It sings inside my soul when bad when bad are suffering, and I feel triumph and happiness when it happened, and it's the best way of wishing the worst for both of you. Soon it is coming. Do you guys think this is a male or female writer, and how can I tell? Alright, so, top comment. I haven't read any of the comments, but this is top comment. I'm no psychologist, but... The latest letter seems to be written not to you and your wife, not to, not to you and your wife, only you. I doubt the person knows your wife well, but sees her, as a, sees her as a symbol and a way to hurt you. Notice that harm is wished on your wife, but as a way to strike fear and suffering in you. There is nothing in the note that suggests the opposite, that harm will befall you, therefore making her suffer. This is someone that's probably had, had to assert her nor their normalcy. I would even guess that they have been seen by a professional based on the second to last paragraph. This is a person who's deranged. They can believe that small and even unborn children are bad and extrapolate that they just and extra, extrapolate that they deserve to die. I'm not convinced this is a Facebook friend, but this is someone who's really sick and knows your personal details. Have a look into the current circumstances of the Polish worker and the nurse. Has has the latter lost their job and wrongly blames you? Withholding medication to a child seems cruel. As the Polish worker had a difficult time lately, in his mind, blames his recent failures on you. I agree another person I agree with another person on this forum. What does the spelling and syntax tell you? Native speaker, educated or not, it's hard to tell with the translation. And then down here he didn't he didn't answer the question really, he just had an interesting input. Uh, let's see, maybe he yeah. That's kind of it with that that comment thread, but that was that story. So Marble Marble Bulldog, threatening notes at the grave. So we have our list of suspects. They were saying that it could be the Medicaid or the fucking medication nurse that didn't give it to the child. Let's see, Nurse A. Yeah. So Nurse A was who she was talking about. Nurse, a nurse at the hospital that treated our daughter, also not on Facebook, we made a complaint about her finding out that she didn't give our child the pain meds at the right times, but waited too long to administer them. We weren't rude, we didn't shout or anything, we wanted the best care for our kid. She was pissed for the rest of that weekend. Or C. Oh yeah, C's the one with the dog, but... Uh, I don't I don't think it would have been C, honestly. She said like specifically he said not mean or nasty to people, just odd. Which doesn't seem like they would do that. All right, guys, um, I am falling asleep. <laughs> I don't know if you are too, but I, I'm really tired. I just wanted to jump on here for a little bit and read some stories. Glad we got to check out Petscop also. That was a nice little addition. Um, and these, hopefully these stories were good enough for you. Um, before we go, I want to give uh, a big thank you to the remainder of the donors here in the stream. Thank you, Kiefer17, Slushy, Stank, Micah, CZ Invasion, Brianna, Justin, Lusty Humble, Darkstar, Jordan, James Bone, uh, Cheekies Darlington, Zeon, Ethan, 
Kid Backwards, Stank Lemons, RTQF, or RQTF, Sylvia, Breathless, Soaps, Amanda, Noah, Henlo, I Momo, Stay Cami, Asuka Ikari, Foxeroll Gaming, and Milkshake. Thank you guys for the donations. Thank you everyone for showing up and uh, participating. This has been a great time. As always, my name is Nexpo. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I love you all, and good night.